All right, I had someone to ask me a question. How did I do my evacuation plan and my floor plan? And basically I wrote it out, I drew it. Now you can get with your home builder and actually get the floor plan and draw everything in there. But for me, certain, there's so much you have to do with home child care um, in the state of Texas that trying to make it look all fancy and stuff was not even on the top of my mind so if you look it lets you know like our front door the back door and the garage and then down here i actually like color coded so x means carbon monoxide the triangles where the smoke detectors are the rectangles the float the float the flooding floats and life jackets in case there's a flood and the green square is the emergency bag with the enrollment form, which is right here. And so um, I use the dots and then I have a yellow circle for the severe weather location, which is the bathroom, hallway, and master bathroom. So you can see that, boom, boom. And then um, breastfeeding, I used um, the purple symbol here to show where breastfeeding is, purple heart. And it's going to be located in the bathroom. And so like a star for where our first aid kit is, all that stuff is there. It's very self-explanatory. So when the fire inspector came, he was able to see it and able to understand it. So as you see, every black triangle means what? Smoke detector. So that's how I did that. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out to you was my um, policy handbook. I'll actually do a more formal policy handbook um video because my policy handbook is the bomb guys i'm telling you and i will upload it so you can use it and tailor it to however you want but i'm trying to get to extreme evacuation procedures in the state of texas we have to have this anyway um in order to be a home child care so my extreme evacuation procedure it's for a volatile person explosions toxic fumes fires and severe weather can y'all turn off my gospel music please um and so it lets you know our evacuation relocation address it says in the event we have to relocate all of the children to a safe to safety for more than 30 minute time period or if evacuation causes for the children to be inside in a safe area, it just tells me where we're going to be relocated. If there's a flood, what we would do, we'll inflate our boats and stuff like that. The addresses are here. I'm hiding it so that nobody from YouTube will come just pop up on me and, you know, do something crazy. And then the second part, it just breaks down. Uh, for children 18 months to 24 months, all staff members will ensure each child in this group is holding the hand of a child that is three years of age or older. Now, my home child care, we screen our children um, greatly. Number one, they have to be 18 months and walking before they can be with us. And even though it says three-year-old, you're probably thinking, oh, that's not mature enough. But our three-year-olds that we have are very, very mature because they really started with us at 18 months. So they're very mature. The younger the, younger the child, the older his or her partner will be. So if a child is 18 months, they will be paired up with like a six-year-old. Now, granted, it's me and another staff member. I do have a staff member, my best friend. She works with me. In the case of an extreme evacuation procedure, we will grab the emergency bag, its enrollment binder, first aid kit, food, water, games, music, and the center's phone, and primary caregiver cell phone. Boom, everything is inside of there. Staff and children will take their appropriate exits by walking. Once we have reached our safe area, we will begin to take count of the children by calling them by their names and checking them in the system. While one caregiver interacts with the children, the other caregiver will contact licensing, local authorities, last parents. If, the, if needed, the emergency contact person will be required to pick up children. Once a month, we will practice our emergency preparedness plan. In the event there is only one caregiver, all substitutes will be contacted to report to work to ensure all children are picked up safely. And then it talks about fire and what we do for fire, tornado, what we do for tornado flooding and a dangerous person um i do use the ring system if you're not familiar with the ring system let me show you real quick it's really awesome and here's our um fire extinguisher in the state of texas you have to have it a certain amount of feet above the um the ground and you have to always have it serviced and then this is my inspection report from when they did it so for my ring yeah you can open the door go ahead for my ring, um, I'll also add a link. So check the description so you can see the ring. 
but this is our ring so whenever someone comes it lights up and I'll get like a, um, a notification on my phone or all tablets and stuff and so once I do that I may be able to talk so we don't even answer the door because um, it's just not safe so we're able to just talk to the children or talk to whoever's at the door through there but yep yeah, it is right here my I'm trying to get it to so it's not like far there it goes so this is what I did and like I said because there's so much you have to do in child care you really don't want to waste too much time now obviously I can go back and type all these things up um, I'm actually gonna do that since we just recently changed our name and everything but for the most part this is the minimum I actually went above minimum because all this extra stuff is not required and then you have your emergency numbers and everything listed there, your checklist, and this is the back door. So I hope that answers your question. Question of the day, do you use a handwritten evacuation plan or do you type it up or do you use some kind of program? Comment below, remember, interact with each other. That's how we grow. Like this video, share this video, but most importantly, make sure you are learning from this video. Have a good night.